Hey guys, it's Kay. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you this Yaki reddish brown wig. Now, I've done videos on reddish brown colored hair, but never has it been a Yaki texture. So I'm real excited for this because if y'all don't know, I love, love, love Yaki textured hair. Right here, it was so difficult trying to get that net off my finger, y'all. So here is construction right here. I don't know if I mentioned I did receive this wig from Nadula Hair. All the links and details to this wig will be in my description box. My background is so chaotic right now. So please excuse my children. So this is what the wig looks like with the lace on. And it is a 13 by 4. The lace is HD. Now let me tell you about this lace. This lace, the hairline, everything. The hairline already comes pre-plucked. The knots doesn't come bleach, but I don't think that you need to do any work to this wig. Honestly, the non-bleach knots don't even matter right about now. Y'all see how the front looks? And I didn't do anything. That's how it came. So, like I said, this is a 13 by 4 Yankee texture. It is a reddish brown color. The knots don't come bleach, but the hairline does come pre-plucked. I can't remember if it, if this is 18 inches or 20 inches, but like always, details will be in my description box. Look at that front, y'all. Look at the hairline. Now, because it is like a kinky, I think this is like a kinky straight texture. Y'all see them little crinks or crinkles in it? I was trying to take my blow dryer to remove some because up in the root area, it was like a lot. So I did go in with my um with my straightener and I'm curling it with the straightener back to the texture. So even though you straighten this hair, you don't really fully get rid of the texture, which if you like texture hair, why would you want to get rid of the texture? But up in the roots, it was definitely really, really crinkly. So um, my flat on did get rid of some of the crinkles, but I don't think it will ever fully like go away if that makes any sense which makes sense because i mean it's a kinky straight wig but as you can see i'm just curling ahead with my flat iron and eventually i did recurl the hair with a burl curler i didn't like how the curls came out um and i will say this hair does not really hold a curl you're definitely gonna have to spray something on it now, depending on how tight the curls is, if you have like a long curl, um, like tight curls, I'm pretty sure it will hold. But loose curls like this, like once you brush it, the curls are basically gone. But this was the look I was trying to go for anyway. Hence, that's why I switched my curling tool. But yeah, that's basically it. I just did like a little quick curl for this wig. Because the hairline looks so super good, I don't feel like you need to add baby hair. But if you're into that, you can go ahead and do so. Now, I did add baby hairs to this wig. But you don't have to, y'all. That's how good the hairline is. And the lace is super melty. As you can see, the wig looks super natural. So if you are into yaggy texture wigs, check this wig out. If you're into this type of color check this wig out if you don't want to put a lot of work into your wig check this wig out all links will be listed in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next video